Okay, here I've got the data, and we have five different variables, satisfaction with life, scale, item one, item two, three, four, and five. And then as I said before, we have the responses for 80 total people. All right, so let's go ahead and run the analysis. So we want to go to Analyze, and then Scale, and then select Reliability Analysis. And then here we have our five items. I'm going to press the Shift key, select the last one, and that grabs them all. Move them over to the Items box. Notice under Model, the default is Alpha, and that's what we want. And I'll go ahead and give it a label. I'll call it Satisfaction with Life Scale. And then let's go to Statistics. And then here under Descriptives 4, I'll go ahead and select all of these, and we'll talk about that in a minute. And then everything else I'll just leave as is. Go ahead and click Continue, and then click OK. And here we get our results. And you can see case processing summary. We had 80 valid cases, zero were excluded. So that means everybody uh, had meaningful values that were used in the estimation of the reliability coefficient here. Next table, reliability statistics. This is the one we really are looking for first and foremost, although we'll discuss the other tables as well, and they are important. But this is where our alpha is at. And it's given under Cronbox Alpha. And we have a reliability rounding in two decimal places of 0.88. And that's really very good. The highest possible reliability coefficient is 1.0. But 0.88 is really quite good. The highest ones I see without being a massively developed uh, intelligence test or what have you is 0 0.91, 0 0.92, 0 0.93, sometimes a little higher. But that's the absolute best I typically see. And 0.88 is right up there. So I would consider the reliability, as measured by Cronbox Alpha, for the satisfaction with life scale to be very good.